welcome back all of you nana here in this session uh, we are going to create a ato model and then we'll ask the customer to configure it so once for the configuration is complete it will be interface to manufacturing so once for the interface to manufacturing is completed we will now manufacture it receive it in the or and then afterwards finally ship it to the customers so the business process is what ato models configuration manufacturing receiving and then shipping so let us now see this is a very simple model and then uh, it is almost same like anything <clears throat> So let me go on and share the screen. Here, whatever the logo there, I'm not sure. So we have a laptop model. So that is the parent of a bill actually. A bill will be having one parent and then multiple components. So the laptop model will be having only one option class here. Which is the parent and option class. And then the component of a this bill is going to be the parent of an next bill actually. Right? This is the next bill. This is called an indented bill. Right? So it is like one level of indentation is there now. So this is going to be the parent of this. And then it has got two components of what i5 laptop and then i7 laptop. So what is so I will now first of all create. So whenever you are going to build your what happens indented build, so you start to create the items and builds from bottom actually. So let us now go there first of all. We'll take our bit p01. So let us now create the items over here. <clears throat> now go there. So we'll now go and then create the items for this. Right? So we need four items to be created. So click on the star icon. So let me go to the product information management. <clears throat> and this, we are now going to create the items. <clears throat> so let us now go there and then create the items on this one. And then click on create. So this is going to be a simple component actually, right? component. And then go there, click on it, I will now click on create. Two items or components actually. <clears throat> so click on create it. And then from there, we will now do go ahead on this. <clears throat> So go there, click on create now. So I'll be creating it on the 000, 000 mass shop. And then 002 is uh, basically a manufacturing or Atlanta is a manufacturing or so we'll now assign it to Atlanta actually. So the item is now getting created in the master. So we are going to create it in the 000, 000 master. And then assign it to 002. And then it is a simple purchase item or FG item, whatever it is. It doesn't have any variations to it. So after this is now created, then we'll now create an option class and then the model actually. So one by one, one by one. So we are in the process of doing it now. <clears throat> so instance is somewhat slightly slow. So we have to cope up with the speed of it. Now. Don't have any other go. So once the item is created. So the components and then the option class will not be enabled for back to back. Only the model will be enabled for back to back. So when doing it, the model will be enabled for back to back. These things will not be enabled for back to back. So the components actually. So that instance was somewhat slow actually. So I must switch over to some other instance in which we go there to the So the item class will be the root item class. If the design item is coming, it's okay. We are accepting it. But then going ahead and then accepting this warning message because somebody is working on PIMS extensible flux fields actually. Because of the Now go there go to this place. So I will take all the i5 laptop. Take the item. One of the item over here. <laughs> Go there. So this is the one. So it doesn't have any extra thing. And when I go to the associations, and it's a simple component actually. So go to the associations and then associate the child org of 002. T01 is the one. Zero zero two. So the first item in our intended bill is now getting created. I apply enter. So the first item is now created. It doesn't have any other attributes to be changed actually. It is a simple one. Next one is what? I want to take the i7 laptop. So it is the bottom level bill with the components of it. So when the first item is created, we had to get four items actually. I'm not going to create it now. It is again 000, zero, zero. operations. So accept this warning message and then go ahead and then create the second item of our bill. Mm -hmm. 
So go to the associations and then the associate to 004. It's a very simple bill which has been uh, created for understanding the manufacturing of it. Now. Zero, zero, zero. Select it and then click on it. Right? So the second second uh, item is also created. We had to create two more items and then two more bills also. Right? So totally four components, four items, and then two bills we had to create. So now we'll take up the third one that is going to be an option class. So now go to the place and go to the click on create now. Now we are going to create option class. It is on zero zero zero. Go there. So this time, what happens? I will not throw away this template. I will not bring in an ATO option class. So ATO option class, I'm going to bring. I'm going to click on apply. I'm going to apply the ATO option class. Previously, you know, the FG design it up. Click on that. Now it is an ATO option class. So click on this. We are now creating an ATO option class. So the first thing is what the life cycle phase is balanced. I'm going to make it work correction. So that is only one change. And that's not it. I'm going to go there, paste it. And then go there. And paste it. So first, let us now create the model or rather option class in the master actually and click on save. So one for the, this thing is created, we have to create what? <coughs> we have to create the two components we are required. So what I'm going to do is I will now make one free item along with this also. Yeah. So let me create a free item also. Yeah. So T0 on laptop is that. I will now give a save and close. So let me add one free item to this one. Right? So if you buy any of those things, fine. I will now say T01 underscore carry case will be free. And carry case will be free. So I'm going to make it. I'm not added to the bill actually. Now I'm adding it now. Carry case is going to be free. Right? <clears throat> so what I do is now go there. So bring it down. What is it? <clears throat> and then go there. I will now go to home. <clears throat> I will not center it and then go there. Go to it. Go to it. Go to it. So it's a carry case. The carry case. This is going to be a free item for us. So let us now create the carry case also. So whenever he buys a laptop, if I laptop or I sell laptop, the carry case will be free for him. Take it from the picture. We'll go there. And now go to create it and first of all. Now go to free item. So let us now create the free item. So this is also known as an included item. The bill. The bill it is known as an included item. Technically, and then uh, practically, it is a free item. Also. So the customer will not be charged anything. So, 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 go to the place, now paste it. So, that is the free item. So, go to the association and directly associate with the child. Also. Actions, and go to select an action. Go to the place, 002 is the one, and enter it. So, choose it and click on apply, and then click on that. So the free item is now created and we have Now let us now query the option class. We'll now query the option class. And then we will now create this uh, three components below it. I will now go to place. I will now go to the browse items. I will now query this option class. <laughs> so let us now query the option class. Now we place, paste it and click on search. We are now querying the option class. <coughs> it is now created only in the master. So <laughs> click on the hyperlink on the item find it now create the master let us now create a structure now. Fine. go to the structure now. click on structure i am now going to create a structure I'm going to actions and then go to create so let us now create a structure so we'll now add all the three components also so make it as what primary <coughs> the name is primary and then put the go to display also click on display. and then click on add apply and add details so here i'm going to add these three components fine i5 i7 and carry case i'm going to add Go there. So I will not go there. I will not click on select an action. So go to actions and then go to select an action. So let us now query on the T01. So it will now show all the three components and then we will now add it. So T01 is the one. And query for it. So go there. So carry case, laptop, i5 laptop and i7 laptop. So click on apply and then click on it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the i5 and i7 lap, i laptop as a competing components. So the customer has to choose one of them. Once when he chooses, this will be free actually. <coughs> so let us now make it as a competing component. <coughs> go, to place. go to view and then enable the component order management. <coughs> view and then enable the component order management. Then what happens? You go there. <coughs> so 
keep your cursor on the iPad laptop and then click on any. And click on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make optionally enabled mode. So since it is a standard component, only option is possible. Mutually exclusive is not possible at all. Right? Only option is possible. So on a, on, a, on a standard component, only option is possible. ME is not possible. And click on it. So that means what? It becomes a competing component for the customer actually. IFA is not done. Similarly, I go to the I7. I7. And go to the, uh, I will not go to the ADT. I will not enable the option. Option is enabled. Thank you. It is not done. <laughs> so the bill is created. The carry case is not having any option is not enabled. That means what? It is an included item. Whenever a customer chooses one of them, it will be given to him free of cost. Thank you. It is not done. So go there. Now we'll now assign it to the organization. Then we'll go to the associations. And then after having the structure is now created, we'll go to the actions and then go to select map. Let us now assign this option class to the child dog. 002, enter in. Select it. And then click on apply and then click on It's all done. So let us now give a save and close. Fine. Now we'll now go on and create our final item. Now there are five items actually. We'll now go on and create the laptop model item. So we will now go on and create our laptop model item. We to create it. So we will now be creating the laptop model item. Zero, zero, zero. Close it. And then here, I will now throw away, and then I will now choose the ATO model manufactured. So ATO model manufactured, I am going to bring it up. I am going to apply it. Apply the template. ATO model manufactured template, I am applying it. I will now change the template. To apply it. And make the life cycle active, and then life cycle phase is production. And then paste this item over here. So we are not doing it. An extra space is there. Let me delete it. Now, in this place, I will not make it as what each. The primary unit somewhere is missing. So I'm not making it now. I go to the specifications first of all. So in the specifications, the first area is manufacturing. In the manufacturing, the model. So create configured item. Fine. I will not say drop it down based on model. So based upon the model, we are going to get the configured item. So based on sourcing. And then item based on model structures based on sourcing. So sourcing is a different one, right? I will not make it as well based on model. <clears throat> model is a different one. So the configured model type is what? I will not say it's not a container, it's a standard one. And then auto create configuration, what happens? I will not say yes. Auto created configuration is yes, actually. <laughs> assemble to order is yes. Right? So assemble to order. So auto created uh, configuration is yes, not right? now put it as yes. So these are all the set number. In this place, you are setting it. And then costing is enabled. And then inventory asset value is also yes. <coughs> Auto create configuration is yes. So build and whip must be yes. Number. Even though it's a model, we have to make it as yes. Because once when the star item is created, it will not take up the attribute from this place. And then it will not populate on the star item or the ATO item. So once when the customer configures it, it will be creating a star or ATO item. So it has to be made as build as yes. Number. So the remaining are all OK. Number. And then afterwards, after manufacturing is completed, what happens? They'll go to the inventory and then have a look at it. <clears throat> In the inventory, it must be what? Yes. And the stockable must be yes. The stockable must be yes. So stockable must be yes. And then transactable must be yes. And then reservable must be yes. So all these four must be enabled, actually. All the four must be enabled. It's okay. Uh, nothing else is the problem. Stockable, uh, inventory item, stockable, transactable. And then, yeah. because this is not going to be used for creating your. Uh, what happens your child uh, or other ATO item or uh, star item actually. So inventory is okay. I will not go to the sales and order manager. So all the four are yes. So customer order is an item defining attribute which is then customer orders enable is a status attribute. This is also yes. These two things are okay. And then the right hand side, what happens the back to back must be enabled actually. Fine. This is a back to back make actually. Fine. Back to back is enabled actually. Order management transactions enabled. And go down. Shippable must be yes. So even though the model is not going to be shipped and then stocked. Point. We have to make it as because from this only it will be creating the what happens your star item, right? Your star item, and so the attributes will be copied into your star item actually. So that's why you are not making the model itself as what yes, invoicing is as well. So that's okay. So that's the one. so these are all things you have. So it must be what happens the shippable and then invoiceable. So we are done it now. So shippable is as invoiceable. We will not go to the planning now. The planning it must be make actually. <clears throat> it is already make, make or buy is make actually. And then the right hand side, you make the planning time for just 50 days. So if the customer order is going to be having the requested date in the next 50 days, it will be considered for demand supply balancing. If it is beyond, it will not do. So if you are going to even have more, you can even make it as 500 also, right? depending upon the need, it can even be higher. So for the next 50 days of supply of the customer's demand, it will all be balanced by the GOP actually. So 50 minutes. And 
and then afterwards you go to the purchasing and then have a customary activity about giving a list price fine even though we are not going to buy it actually fine we give a list price because only for the buy it will be cut but do it and then these are the three additional attributes which have been added in the system no fine i will not make it just no fine sub two and then go there and not just express is it to come express and cascade are it to come in fusion actually fine they will be coming very soon actually. so these are the three additional attributes when compared to e is no fine then so go there so the model item is now getting created actually the model item is now getting created no negotiation required is not required no longer is the purchase is what no is saying fine uh, normally what happens in the purchase uh, model will not be purchased at all fine right? doesn't matter any you know, alone it is just no fine and then yes, and then the purchase goes also yes, fine so we are now enabling every functional area over there fine so this functional area is enabled even though we are not going to buy anything at all fine we are just enabling so go there so click on it so we are now completed the attributes setup for the model item so give us a the model attributes are now set up for fine one second so laptop model the base model is not set uh, then auto created configuration at work cannot be defined at all if base model is not set so here what happens if you go to the place if you go to the what's called manufacturing if you say what happens it is based on model now right so the base model has to be set what is it based on model so based on model is not working at all you know uh item based on model structures based on something you know use this one you know choose this one so Uh, models um, items based on model structures based on sourcing fine baby i can consider now we'll see whether it works or not fine because if it would go to be model the base model has to be created base model is not enabled all fine because i'm not exactly understanding this part no fine so go there so click on save we'll now see whether it works saving or not <clears throat> based on model fine again what happens it is not allowing you fine you know fine i will now make it as blank i will drop it off i will now make it as blank create configuration item fine that i will now make it blank actually <clears throat> go there so click on save now so this is really not known to me exactly fine if somebody knows this whatever you go to the match configuration uh, standard match is the best one now fine standard match is the best one so match configuration be in the new so click on save now fine and see whether it gets saved or not you must provide a value for the attribute auto created configuration attribute fine auto create auto create auto, auto create configuration you have now said it when we made a change what happens it has now gone to blank actually auto created configuration now it has been made as so can say So we are not saving it now. So it is not made as a blank file. Again, what about uh, if base model is not set, then auto create attribute cannot be defined. Actually, what is saying now? Uh, base model is not set. Then structure item type is what? Drop it down. <clears throat> Fine. With a model only. Fine. There is no other thing. Fine. There is no other code. There is no configuration model type. <clears throat> uh, match also. I will not leave it blank. Fine. And then this I will not make it as just. Oh God. So much of <laughs> problems on this. Now, I click on this. You know, so again, laptop model is the following. Uh, base model is not set. Then auto created configuration attribute cannot be defined. That's what I'm saying. Auto created configuration. So it is saying that if this is base model is not set, then auto creation is not possible. Fine. Give us same. Now, fine. With this, we will not see whether it works or not. You must provide a value for the auto auto created configuration attribute. <clears throat> so configuration model type. This one is okay. Fine. Uh, effectivity is only for the projects actually. <clears throat> Assembled orders, yes, not fine. Right? So again, now giving lots of problems here, not fine. Right? Not. So let me go and then what happens? I cancel it and again come back. Not fine. I'm not going to make a model. And then I, I will now auto create configuration. I will now leave it blank. But then do it not fine. One second. <clears throat> so when I made the auto creation configuration as no, it has allowed to save. Save actually fine. A blank is not allowed. Yes means what? Something else is required. And doesn't matter. We'll now see uh, whether this works or not. Fine. create configuration but auto auto created uh, configuration is no fine whether i will not leave it as it's fine let's we'll see whether it works or not so it is no saved actually uh, no save fine uh, we will not see whether it works or not now i go to the structures and then i will not create a structure also i'm not going to so then what actions and then here create fine i'm not going to create <clears throat> so go that i will not make it as what primary <laughs> primary is a structure or a description but i will not take a copy of it and then i got a description please go and click on apply and add details so it has got only one component here now uh, it has got what about this many components so the laptop uh, will be having a laptop option class only only one component actually and then what is it going to do only one component and then go to the actions and then go to select map <laughs> no more no. i will say t01 i will not choose only the option class only Is an option class that will apply to the computer. So this has got three components actually. Right? Click on apply and then click on apply. 
laptop option class has been chosen. So laptop and cloud. Now go to the view and then enable the component order management. You know, enable the component order management. Enable the component order management. And then after enabling it, what happens? We go to see the options. So so here we are now saying if you don't select it, what happens? It becomes a mandatory option class. He has to choose one. And then mutually exclusive, you make it as a with the known as that means what? This is a mandatory option class. So out of these two components, he has to choose one of them, either IFA or ISA. Right? It is the must for me. And then if you say ME is one, he can choose only a maximum of one only, either IFA or ISA. So that means what? It is one. The first one option, right? Option is off is what? It is mandatory. At least one. This is maximum one. So that means what? It is one and only one. The combination is known as one and only one. Right? So keep on okay. So you can choose only one and only one. Right? Okay. No doubt. So this is not done, right? So click on that. So now, what happens? You go there <coughs> and then click on save and close. Okay? So it is not done now. So save and close. It's all done. Yeah. So now, what happens? I have to assign it. Kind of all that. There's no assign it. Okay. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the associations. And then let me assign it to the child. Go to the actions. And go to self -land. So we are going to assign it to the child. It is 0, 0, 0. I will not choose it. So, you know, going to assign it to the child because it has been entering now. So, organization is what? 002. What is this? So, 00. 0, 0, 0 2. And then make a search. You can click on search. You're searching for it. No results form. And you can cancel. Association is already assigned it. So we already assigned it. It's already gone there. So click on save. So it is assigned. Now, what you're going to do is, uh, it is now assigned. You know that. So now save and close. And then the child, we are now going to create what? A common to build lecture. We are going to comment. So click on search. Now you can see that the laptop option class, you know, laptop option class is coming. You know, laptop option class is coming. So we are now querying on the laptop option class. You know so I will now go to the child. Fine. Let me create a common build. <clears throat> go to the laptop option class. Here, what happens? I go to the structures. And then here, I should not create a bill, but I should common the bill. I go to the actions. And then here, what happens? I will go to the create from common. And T01 laptop option class, which has been created in the master. So I will not put the master or you know, OPE, -E, -E, -E find your operations that will be coming. So operations. And then here, I will not say T01 underscore laptop. <coughs> See what happened. Right? Laptop option class, I'm going to choose. Laptop option class, I'm choosing. So a lot of option class. I click on okay. So by which what happens? It will be getting common. So option class. Whenever you make a change on the bill now, and this place, whenever you change a bill, whenever you say I, the components are changing it or component quantities are changing it, right? in the child it will not be. Uh, we change the master. It will be getting automatically changed in the child. So that is why when a master uh, what happens? The bill is getting common to the child. So we cannot modify anything on the child. So go back home. So give a save and close now. So you can now see that yeah, the item product right, go to the duplicate and then have a look at the scheduled process. Item import will be running. It will be running an item import. I go there. I will not go to the one process. So go to the place. I will not go to the tools. I will not go to the tools and then go to the scheduled process. So an item import will be running. So we are going to the scheduled process of this now. So I will now go on and add it to ours now. No added orders. So add to the <coughs> So one process is not done. No, no, no. So here I will now what I will have a look at it. The item import process is running. So once when it is completed, the bill will be ready. Similarly, on the model also we have to query now. But I don't know query the laptop model now. Laptop model I'm query. <coughs> so laptop model, I'm going to query. I click on search. So I'm going to search for the model. So the mod model is now done. And open it up and then here we have already created the structure actually. if you go to the structures you can also see the structure is already created the primary structure is already available now right? so what we have done is we have now made what op is no and then me is yes and this place after class and then if you go to the view and then go to the component order management if you go to the component order management and then go there and then click on the edit you can now see the op is no op is no and then me is yes. that means what one and only one is the option below this one whatever you are setting it up these setups are for the below levels and not for the same levels actually. It is for the below level. Cancel it. 
and then we will not assign it to the child dog. Laptop is going to be, laptop model is going to be assigned to the child dog. So click on it. It is not assigned to the child dog. <clears throat> so go there. So I will not go to the associations. I will not go to the associations. Then I will not associate with the child dog. So go to actions. And then go to self command. So 002 is the one. And then select and then click on apply and then click on done. So that is now getting done now. So it is now associated. So click on save and close. Now we will now query the laptop model of the child and then common it from the master actually. Right. In the child, we ought to always common the model. You click on search, you will now find the second entry over here. I will now go to the child. This is sale now right here. So here in the child, you should not get a bill, you should common the bill from the master actually. Go to the place, I will now go to the structures, now click on the structures. And then we have good actions, and then good what? I will now create from common. Create from common, I'm doing it on the So this is operations actually. So here, uh, this is the bill now. You know, paste the bill. So laptop model, you have that. So I'm now putting the laptop model again. Okay, so click on OK. So there is no getting commented. This place. So the model. Is now getting common over here. Where that <clears throat> so now we will now go and then create our work definition for this. We now have that work definition for you. And click on the home icon and then you go to the supply chain execution. You now go to the supply chain execution. You go to the supply chain execution. <clears throat> go to the supply chain execution. And then here you will now go to the work definition. Work definition. So now the model is now getting common actually in the model process. We have to wait for the next set of concurrence to get completed now. So the first set of concurrence is now on. So import child is now ready. So it has to complete. And once when it is completed, then you'll be able to see it on this work definition area. It is a zero zero to R. So click on it. You will now create a work definition. So once the child is created, I'm going to manual work definition. Once when the import process is ready, we can very well go on and create our work definition. So click on plus one. And give the plus, and then let us not put the model item over here. Okay, give a tap. So once it is read, the primary will be coming over here. So it is not coming. That means what? The concurrent is not complete. So we had to wait for the import to complete now. Okay. So only when the import of the child, so when the second import is now running. So only when it is completed, you will be able to create a work definition. That means what? The bill is not still not available on the child actually. That is what it means. And the place the bill. I will not give a cancel. Cancel. <clears throat> the structure name has to come automatically. So we'll now wait for this concurrence to come in. So import child is also running. We'll be importing the mask of running. So it is now succeeded. Now we'll now go there and then create the okay. So click on plus. And then once when you put the model over here, the primary will be coming over here. That means what? The bill is available on the child now. Paste it and the back. The primary has to come. The primary is coming. Here I will now put a main here now. Main is the one. Okay. And then click on next one. We'll have only one standard operation for this entire one. Now. Thank you for asking. The only one standard operation for this. So drop it down. <clears throat> well, choose only one. So I will now say uh, tablet update. Uh, tablet packing is there. Fine. Performance testing. Fine. Supply testing. Tablet data. And I will now choose the tablet packing. So go there. It is it will come as a reference one. It's okay. Fine. Go that one. And then click on the save and leave. And then this has got only one component. Let us now add the component to the operation. And PPCK is an operation, an operation code. So it's a tablet packing is the operation actually. It's a standard operation. So for which we have got only one component, that component will be added to the operation. So by which the bill and routing are getting completed actually. We are not completing the bill and routing. So we are going to complete the bill and routing. So you can see on the right hand side, one component will be there. So as the items are created, the bill is created, the routing is created. Now it is eligible for a collection actually. So I will now. Pick up the top itself, right? I will not go to the option tab at all. Another. So it's a model actually. Man. I will now bring the model itself over here. So once when you bring the model, naturally, it's the below level components are also picked automatically. The item model cannot be associated with the operation because it is an item reference to the work definition. The work definition, okay, man. Okay, this is the one. So I have to associate this only, sorry, not the model. So go the laptop so and drag the laptop on the middle. Drag, drag the option class in the middle, not the model actually. So model is a parent. You cannot associate the parent. Only when you're doing a rework or repair, at the only the parent can be associated with the component level. So laptop, you can easily see the tick mark now. Click on save and close. So by which 
what happens here. The work definition is now complete. The work definition is okay. Now, what do you do? We have to go and then collect it actually. You now click on the phone icon. Let us now perform a collection also. So we will go to the what? Supply chain planning. We will go to the supply chain planning. <clears throat> Supply chain execution, you go to the supply chain planning. <clears throat> there, you go to the plan inputs. And then if you go and then query on the T01, nothing would have been there actually. There will be nothing else. So go there. So go to the place T01. And then let us now query find on search. Once when you search for it, you won't find anything at all. So let us now perform a collection. And collection is a must. Then only whatever will be visible for you. Go to the collect planning data. We are going to collect it. <clears throat> so click on collect data. So click on OPS. <clears throat> go to the place. I will now go for a targeted one. OPS and targeted. So OPS targeted. So here I will now bring the items over here. Okay. Items I am now bringing it over here. And then afterwards, what happens? I will now go to the structures. Okay. Item structures. Let me bring it over here. Automatically, work definition will be. So these three things I am going to collect now. Okay. So it must be on OPS and then it must be targeted actually. And it must be targeted. Do not go for a net change. Net change doesn't work sometimes properly. So go for a targeted collection. So click on search. So the collection process is now going on. It's now going on. Now in the meantime, what happens? We'll now go to the pricing and then we'll now do the pricing. Right click and then duplicate. So let us now go on the give the pricing for the product actually. <clears throat> so many people, what happens is they will now have the models cost as something, let's say 40k or something like that. Uh, or other, let's say thousand US dollars or something like that. And then uh, whenever the customer chooses IFA or i7, uh, these two things will be having a zero price and then it will not be having any addition to the model price. So if you have a price on this, then they will be getting added to the model. So either you keep the model prices fixed and then keep the component price as zero or make the model as zero and then component prices. So in our case, what happens, what I'm going to do is I will not give a price of each and everything. I will not give the price of each and everything. So I will not go to the order manager. Just for understanding what I'm doing it. Up. So I will not go to what? I will not go to the order management. <clears throat> so let us not go to the order management actually. <sighs> So I will not go to the order management and then let us now go to the pricing part. Now I'm on the pricing administration. We are now going to the pricing administration. <clears throat> so here what I will go there. I will now click on what? Go to the manage price list. I'm going to go there, manage price list. And then I will now go to the corporate segment of price list. Corporate. Right? The corporate segment place which is now used to be the vision actually. So it's the one now. And corporate. So you will now you open it up on the other one. So click on it. And then here. I'm not going to give all all items price of 10 actually. I will not go to the all items. Fine. So let us now have an all items price. Over there. So click on plus. And then all items are UAM based actually. Each and every unit of measures has to be given a price actually. So for this unit of measures, click on say charge. I will not give a price of 10 actually. 10. I will not go there. I will not allow this. And then click on what I can say date, not time. Click on date and give a same. So give us So all items price is not given. We are doing all of that, and you can see the saved icon. I will not go to the item level. So this place, I will not go to the item level. So I will not give a model price as what some hundred dollars from the one. Click on plus. <clears throat> I will not go there. I will not paste the model icon. In reality, you have to choose only one. Okay? I'm not doing it. just for understanding purposes. I will not have what model base price is hundred. <clears throat> Allow. And then, so click on it. You can choose it. Okay. So this. Uh, model is not given, give us save. Right? Model price is not given. And remember, the all items price uh, is not sufficient for a model actually. Model need to have an explicit pricing. Explicit pricing is required. Okay. So, model price is not given. Okay. And then, afterwards, the component price is given. Uh, option classes need not be given, but the components price is required. Okay. So, components prices may even be zero. Right? Component price, if you don't leave it as a choice, then the 10 will be taken. But you know, for my sales, what happens? I'm not going to give it. Right? I will not give different one. Otherwise, it will not take up the what happens the all items price up. I will not go for the laptop now. I will not click on create charge. So here I will not put 110 now. 110. And then allow. <laughs> and then give the date now. So the date is given. I can give a same. And then uh, I7 laptop also I will not give. Click on plus. Now. I will not go to the I7 laptop also. So take it off the item. I7 laptop. Take it. I will go there. So go to space and click on you know, paste for you. I am on laptop also. I will not give a price of 120 now. And there is 110, 120. In reality, you have to think, think, and then do it. Go there. 
Now, whenever the customer chooses, everything will be rolled up to the top, actually. So all these things are given up. So the pricing is now complete. Say the close. The pricing is now complete. Let us now go back here and then have a look at the what happens. Search for it. You'll now see whether the load entities have got complete or not. Whenever you make a collection, almost all the loads are completed. Now you go to the plan inputs and then make a search on this. Now it will all be available. T01, everything will be available. Whatever you created. So here, what happens? You cannot see all the things with the uh, laptop, uh, i5 laptop, i7 laptop, and then the option class, and then the model and the carry case, everything is available. Similarly, everything is available as a uh, master also. And everything is correct. Now we will now begin our GOP setups. Right? We'll go to that. We'll now go on and begin. Once when things are collected, we can go ahead and then create our GOP setups. We'll go to the order management and then go to the global order composite. And then I'm going to create the GOP setups. So the first activity is what? Manage ATP rules. So we'll now go there. Click on create ATP rule. The ATP rule will be created. So there are three setups which are there as far as GOP is concerned. Thank you on it. I will now go to the manage ATP rules. So click on manage ATP rules and then let us now create a window. So click on plus. So click on plus. <coughs> so click on plus. I'm going with that. So I will now say T01. Right? It is a supply chain ATP. Right? Supply chain ATP. Right? You're going to balance the supply chain ATP from the SC is ATP. So take down data and then put on the description. And then it is uh, preferably uh, recommended to enable all the three actions, even though it is not available. Something is what uh, promised to what was a promise, profitable to promise actually. Right? Some other models are using it, but here also what happens it is uh, preferable to enable everything. Select it, select, select it. Right? All the supply sources are here, selecting it. And then similarly, all the demands are available. So the system will now what happens uh, make a comparison of these two things and then you know to copy them. So this will be the lead time management and the things right, that will be taught in the planning training. So here I am now making it as a user defined time frame. And then I will now put a 50 days now. 50 days I'm putting it. So here also 50. Right? So when you undergo a training on that, what happens on the planning, they will not teach you something. So there are three modules on planning, supply planning, demand planning, and then sales and operations planning. They will explain you everything in this. So it's all given. You go to the ADP rule assignments and then assign all your models and standard components. Fine with that. One plus one plus. Let us now assign all the models first of all. Model. Go there. Item on organization. Fine with that. Organization is 0, 0, 002. So drop down. I will not see the thing. Drop down. You know, see. Oh, it's not coming and fine. Click on search. I will not search for it. It's a T01 now. T01. And then click on search. I will not put the model. So the model I'm going to put. So the, <laughs> the model. The model I'm adding it. Click on plus one. And then it has got two components, or three components basically laptop, uh, IFA laptop, ISA laptop, and then carry case. So, so go to the place, you go to item on organization, find the 002. I will drop down and then choose the T01. <coughs> Click on search. So T02. I will search for it. Option classes are not required, but the models as well as the standard components are required actually. I will not use IFA laptop. And then similarly, thank you for plus one. I will choose that. Drop it down. You choose item organization. It is a 002. Find what happened. And then drop down and then choose the T01. Drop down and then choose the T01. You can search for it. And then choose the T01. T01. So go there. Now it is i7 laptop. T01. Now click on plus one. Go there. So here. Go to place for So click on it. Item on organization. So it is a 002. So you will know, drop down. You will not put the carry case also. So, carry case. so all the three uh, standard components are getting added up along with the model. Option classes are not required. T01. Click on search. The carry case is also getting added. Click on it. So click on save and close. The first activity in the GOP is now complete. We'll go there. We'll now go then. Go to the second activity of what? creating the sourcing rules. Manage sourcing rules. So, ADP rules now done. Now, go to the manage sourcing rules. We will now create two sourcing rules for this Excel. We are going to create two sourcing rules for this Excel. So, the first uh, sourcing rule is for manufacturing it. I will now say T01. I will now say manu at 002. So, take up it and then put in the description. And then this is going to be a local rule, a local rule. And then the organization is going to be 002. And then click on plus. 
and then here I'm going to manufacture it. You do your manual zero with good actions and then go to add a bit. So I will not say transfer from and then in the from uh, rather uh, not transfer from sorry, in the make it action. I'm not make it as a make it make it. So once I move it, I get the organization will be coming automatically. It is 100 percent Close that and that's it. So click on save and close now. And do not click on save and create another. That is giving a small problem. So give a save and close and then explicitly create a next one. And click on save and close. Don't do it. I save and create another. Don't do it like that. Because I found one small problem. Here. Save and close and then create one more. So click on close. Now what happens? I'm going to transfer it to customer. I'm going to say T01. I'm going to say transfer to customer. So I'm making a point transfer to customer. <clears throat> so take cockpit. So this is basically global in nature. Click on plus. So go click on plus. And then good action is going to add away. And here we are going to transfer it. So once when it is manufactured and then received in 002, we are going to transfer it to customer. Organization is what? 002. 002. And then go there. Our location is 100% and the rank is going. And that's it. So this is now going to transfer it to customer. Transfer one. Save and close. So having created both the routes, make a check here itself. No, right? And then go there. The T01. And then click on search. And then searching for it. So you know, find both the routes are coming up. So this is the second activity on the GOP. And now go for the third activity. Thank you for canceling and come out of it. Now go to place. <clears throat> And go there and then make the assignments of the assignments of the So let us now create the assignments of the say T01. Now say assign underscore set and then give us the input. So give us the input. saving it and then I'll click on plus. I will now make the first assignment. Thank you very much. First assignment. So go there. So you will now do the item organization that is the topmost credit. Item organization. So we are now giving the item organization. Item organization. So the organization is 002. Item is what T01. I will now put the model over here. So the laptop model. So this I'm going to manufacture. So click on sourcing rules. And then go there. I will now pick up what happens the T01. Make it. I will now choose what? Manuat. Manuat 002. So having done this, I will now go on and make a global one. I click on plus one. And then go for a global one. In the global one, I'm going to ship it now. I'm going to the sourcing group. And then here, global is the least priority. It will now execute this first and then afterwards this next action. So go to the one. I will now use the transfer. Form. So transfer to customer is the next one. Thank you. That's no doubt. So click on save and close by which what happened? The third activity is also complete on the soothing, on the GOP area. So save and close. So all the thing is completed. Now we have to set up our profiles actually. The name has to be given. I'm going to the name and the T01 equal assign underscore set actually. And assign set. Oh God. I thought that I will give it a click on save it. So click on save. <clears throat> so the name is now given now. So it will be normally a planning catalog only. Save and close. And then let it requery. So I know that. So click on search now. Let's see whether it's all you can search. So I'm not what I'm uh, what I'm giving a plus, I have not given a year only you know plus I don't know what I'm plus I'll save it. Sorry. So item organization 002, man word 002 is coming. I'm going to transfer it. Transfer. Now, we have to set up our profile properly so that it will be pointing to our sourcing only, our assignment set actually. Click on it. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. And there, I will now go and do it. <coughs> setup and maintenance. We click on it. And then here, what happens? The search now, we'll go to what? Manage uh, uh, admin profile. For manage admin profile is the one I'm going to do it now. The administration profile. I will now go for MSP default. MSP default is a profile entry number. MSP default. Go there. So I will now change it to mine now. Thank you. So I now create the latest one. For that. So the T01 assignment. So I'm changing it to site level. So the system will be using this for promising the customer actually. So now these setups are complete. Now we have to perform again a collection. No, 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 no. We will now collect what the <coughs> GOP data actually. We will now go to the place. We will now collect the GOP data. Go. 
So go to the supply chain execution, go to the supply chain planning, <clears throat> and then go to the plan inputs, and then let us now collect this. This has to be collected actually. So we'll now collect the GOP data. So GOP has been set actually. So once this is set, then we can very well go on that create our sales order actually. So go to this place one second. I will now go to one second. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, the plan inputs only. So I will now go on and collect the data. So now go to the collect planning data and then we are now going to collect it. Collect planning data. Make it as OPS now. So we'll go to this place targeted now. And then here, what I will go down and then bring in the order orchestration preference object over there. And then the only thing which has to be collected. On the supply side, there is no supply at all. Time. That's one. I will not click on supply. So this is now running. And then since we don't have any components available in the inventory now, in the inventory we are supposed to have the components like IFA laptop and the la ISM and laptop, we, got, we have to issue it to the manufacturing okay? the model is not created. So it's going to be manufactured, we have to issue these two components actually. And then uh, they must have a stock, but I will now keep a zero stock, it doesn't matter. I will know what I will do is I will now go there, click on it. Or otherwise I will now keep a stock. Then, uh, usually what happens, we'll be keeping a stock actually. And let us now keep a stock on it. I will now go to the supply chain execution. So I will now go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution. And then I will now keep a stock of all these things. Go to the inventory management. And then I will now keep a stock of all this. Because we need to have a stock on this. Whenever you're going to issue to the manufacturer. So what is this? <coughs> okay. I will now keep 100 each of all the three components actually. So I have to change the what's called my this thing now, right? I will have to go to the supply chain and go to the inventory management. And then I have to keep what happens on the 0, 0 to R, right? To change all. I will now go to the create what for this thing now. I will now click on create miscellaneous transaction. So click on create miscellaneous transaction. So click on create miscellaneous transaction. So click on create miscellaneous transaction. <clears throat> and that. I will not change the R to 0, 0, 0. Okay, let me change the R. Zero zero two. Go there, click on it. I will now go to the create miscellaneous transaction. Go there. It is a miscellaneous result actually. If I miss coming, what happened? Miscellaneous result. I know. Okay, you are making it on the zero zero two R. So click on it. So click on search. <clears throat> Select it and then click on it. And then click on yes. So I will now keep 100 each of each and in fact, click on plus two. So there are three components of that. T01 and then give it an answer. IFA laptop, I7 laptop, and I will now choose the IFA laptop. IFA laptop. I'm choosing it in front of that. I will now keep it on stores actually. Stores is supply sub inventory. I'm going to keep a quantity of 100. Click on plus. So you can even see that this will be easy to plus. Okay, so the next is what I7 laptop. I7 laptop. I7 laptop. I7 laptop. I7 laptop. I7 laptop. Also, I'm going to keep it on stores. Mm -hmm. You know, the carry case. Since we have enabled stockable on the laptop also, the model also, so that's coming, but we can ignore that. So model is basically stockable because when the uh, whatever the configure item is created, then why whatever we have made it as a stockable actually. So now go to the carry case for the But model will not stop it. So I don't know to store so. And then here, I will keep what we have this. So click on it by which we are now having all the three components are now having stock. So now we will now go on and look at the monitor process and then see how much it has progressed on this. So the last set of collections is what uh, worker to delete state data. And node entity is still running now. We had to wait for the worker to delete state data as to complete. Once when it is done, we can even load and log in and start our next activity on this. And one more activity which you have to do is what we have to go to manage item class 
How the customers configure the data? Go to the manage item class. And then we are working on the root item class. I will go to the edit one. Root item class immediately. So this place, I will go there. So this is the one more actually. So you go to the item management. You go to the item management. Here, you can see it is now going to go in the sequence actually. The starting sequence number is 100. And then it is a model with the item number. Right? Model item number is a prefix. And then it will be incrementing every newly configured will be incrementing then and then suffix is none and then the delimiter is asterisk actually. so this is basically known as a star asterisk is a star so whenever the customer configures it the system will be getting a star item actually so this is all fully done this is for the configuration so configuration now will define it also so this is what you have checked for you have no the case and then now wait for the worker to delete state data is now running or not so once when there is something that we can log out and log in and then do it no, going, 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 and now wait for some time. So the worker to delete stage data has got completed. So every setup is now completed. There's no log out and log. So we have to go. So let us sign out and sign in, and then we will now create the sales order for us. And then we will now call the customer to what I'm doing. Now click on complete. I will now close the other screens. Now. So let us sign in again now, and then we will now create a sales order. To the place over there. So I will now go to order management. I will now go to the order management. I will go to the order management. I will now put it in the favorites also. So now we are going to create a sales order. So we go to this place and then add to favorites. With that to favorites, I'm not let us not manage orders only. I'm not click on create order. Then you're going to get so drop it down. I will not choose what this US one business unit. First of all, the business unit has to choose it, and then I will not choose a standard customer of computer services in the So I choose this. Computer service models is the one. Once when you put it, all the other things will be coming up automatically. And then check your pricing strategy and segment. What actions are you here? You pricing strategy and segment. You now see whether the pricing strategy is one of the So corporate segment price group one and then attribute. Then somebody has changed that. Right? So somebody is this thing is coming. Fine, whether so it has to come as what my strategy actually. Right? My strategy is not coming. Al Habib pricing strategy one is coming. Fine, so right? so this is not correct actually. Thank you. Cancel. So let us now go on then have a look at the pricing and then look at it now. <clears throat> so corporate pricing strategy has to come up in front. I will now go to the home icon, go to the place, and then here I will now go to the order management, go to the pricing administration. Go to the place, go to the place. I will now go to what? Manage pricing strategy assignments. I will now go to pricing strategy assignments. So here the assignment has got changed actually. Somebody has changed it. So I will now go to the what? Header sales all now. In the all. Go to the place. Right here. Somebody has changed the assignment actually. <clears throat> Al Habib is the one who's not coming in the bottom actually. Right? So, corporate segment group one now, and corporate segment price group one, right? but it's not there at all. Right? So, corporate segment group one has to come right? along with this one. So, go ahead, go ahead. so let me add it to find somebody might have deleted it actually. You know, the, you see the top is there on it. So, corporate segment group one, and the, so corporate should be. So this is the correct one. And corporate segment group one, and then corporate segment price group one is also there. You know, but this is now having a value of nine, ten now. Kind of, so that is not getting defaulted. You know. So somebody has made a what happens? The precedence is one now, and let us now increase it to eleven actually. So that will now fire last actually. So the tens will, one will be firing first. So somebody has filled down and So the ten will be uh, the lower the precedence, higher the priority. Actually. So somebody has made a change. Uh, so that is not coming. So, so my corporate segment group one and then corporate pricing strategy group one is now 10. 10 is okay. Thank you. So the other one who was made on one, I have now made it 11 actually. Thank you, concept of close. And then I will now preferably what happens here? Sign out and sign in. Sign out and sign in. 
<clears throat> so lower the presence, higher the priority. Since it is a vision, so many people are making an R&D. So it's very difficult to control. In reality, you won't have such thing at all. You'll have only one strategy available there. So I don't know go to the order management directly. Go to the order management. And then here, I don't go to the order management. We already kept in the favorites also. <clears throat> this time, we'll now go and then get an order. We'll now see whether our segment and strategy are coming up. So click on pay down. <clears throat> so drop it down. Now choose our BOD. Here's one BOD. So it's the computer service and lens. Now, we're going to now go on and query also. Go to actions and then go to what? Pricing strategy and segment. So, so our uh, corporate segment group one and then corporate pricing strategy group one also. And somebody from Gulf is working, so they have to change the currency also. Let them make a change. Also. So many things will be the edit currency details. And somebody has changed the default currency. So let make it as a US dollar. <clears throat> and then type as a corporate. Name. Fine. The default has been changed actually. I will now go to what corporate. Oh, yeah. This is also made a chain. I mean, corpo, they have made it. I mean, click on chain search. No? <laughs> you know, see whether the corporate is coming up. Right? C O R P O. And then I click on search. No? So they have now changed the name also to corpo. And then you know, see whether it changes to US dollar. Right? Click on it. it has to change to US dollar. Yeah, no change. So, so now everything is now set actually. And I will now go on that populate my item over So let me take the laptop model. So the laptop model is now priced at hundred dollars fine to the tab. So we are not going to give a tab. Okay. <coughs> so it's hundred dollars. Then what happens? It will be asking you to configure an ad actually. So we have got uh, what happens is all hundred dollars is coming up. So here i5 is a one ten and then i i i seven is one twenty and actually click on the configure. Ad. So he has to choose one of them. Click on configure an ad. So the customer has to choose one of them. He will be choosing it. So you'll now say yeah, there is a radio button either this or that. And then the carry case will not come into what happens this thing at all. Right? And carry case is a free item, and so what happens is coming. So the individual item space is coming. Either you will not give the model item or the individual components item, depending upon this. Now, for example, now we have, for understanding purposes, we have given the model price as well as the component price also. So click on finish. If you want to increase more quantities, also you can add it. So go there. So hundred plus one twenty is the total amount you have to pay. But it will not be really like that. We had to appropriately do the pricing. So the laptop plus one thing. So 220 is the price he has to pay. So in this place, what happens? You go there, click on it. So there is no need to mention any supply at all because the supply will be taken care of by the GOP actually. So what is like? Supply will be taken care of by the GOP actually. So no need to worry. And then click on submit directly. <coughs> so the supply, there is no need at all. So you do not have to mention the zero zero two arrows. Fine, click on submit. So the GOP will now automatically allocate the supply. Thank you. So this sales order will be progressing on the do on the GOP area because the item is a back to back enabled item. Item is a back to back anyone. So it will be progressing on the do for a back to back actually. So the, the sales order is now submitted. <clears throat> we have not taken everything now. We are going hard on this. So 102408 is the one. 102408 is the one. We are not going to progress on this. It is not draft. So once I give OK, it will now go to progressing now. Processing, go to the actions and then go to switch to fulfillment. So here you can now see this. So on the fulfillment lines, you'll now find the do number. Now find click on the do number of this orchestration. It will now open up. And then you can now see the generic process would have got fired. So the generic process would have got fired. <clears throat> So you can now see order fulfillment flow, generic process is fine. No fine. The same thing is it just started. No, it not started. So once when it progresses in the order order, so the reserve will now become what uh, request orchestration of supply because it is a GOP item. It is no more a reserve. It will be requesting for the orchestration of supply. Not the it will be going to what requesting orchestration of supply. The shooting is started now. It was started here in the status. Now here also it has now become as a started. Now I click on the fresh. So once when it's completed, it will now say scheduled actually. The status will now become scheduled. And then the next activity will now begin. It has started. <clears throat> so in the workflow has not triggered and then it has now started to work on this one. So it's not taking some time extra. So it will now wait now. 
it has got scheduled and then the supply request orchestration is also complete. Now the pass has started now. So the pass will be progressing actually. The pass will be progress. So the supply request orchestration is now complete. So the pass has started. So then the next activity on this now. Then after the ship to back to back will be going to progressing to work, awaiting shipping actually. So please have a question. This is started. <clears throat> So the pass has gone into waiting. Actually, it is not a correct one at all. Right? There is some mistake somewhere because of which what happens is it is now gone to waiting. Actually, so let us now clear the pass. Actually, I have now right click on that. Now duplicate the data. There is some mistake somewhere. Some mistake somewhere because of which it has not got properly linked into this one. So it is a one zero two four zero eight is the one factor that not. Now go to the monitor process and then try to release the past task actually. Go to the monitor process. Now release the past task for our sales order. So go to the monitor process. There. So now run the uh, release past task control. So the monitor process is running. The monitor monitor. Schedule new process. Is a release when I mean, you see pass underscore pass is a release pass task in which I am now going to pass on the parameter of the order. 102408 is the order number which I am going to pass. Okay, 102408 is the one. So let us now let me pass on the parameter of 102408 in the order number now. You see 102408. Order number is what? 102408. Here Click on submit. Submit again. So click on again. So refresh. So there's no one run. So one when this completed, you can now see the the status of this one will be going on third now. Okay, so So the release pass task has got succeeded actually. And now go there and then click on refresh. So once in a refresh, the sales order has to progress down on this one. So the pass will be getting completed. And then afterwards, the ship back to back has to begin. So the pass is now. Click on refresh. And then wait for the pass task to get completed. So what I did is I went to the plan inputs and then made a complete collection. In the plan, collect planning data, fine. It looks like it needs a complete collection because of which it is now getting stuck actually. So, the target collection only for the order orchestration reference object is not exactly working. And so, I made a complete collection of this. The complete collection of this one. And then the supply planning data also I made a complete collection and then I submitted it. So, upon submission, I am able to see the sales order getting focused. This place. What happens if you want a question? It does not want to have waiting shipping actually. <clears throat> Now we'll now go to the fulfillment area and go to the fulfillment area. <coughs> in the fulfillment, whatever we go there, and then in the bottom, whatever we know how a supply order would have got created actually. So click on the supply order number. Right? Click on the supply order number. So I'm going to have a look at the supply order number. <coughs> it is now awaiting supply actually. So it is now in production, and then what happens? Yeah, uh, your order has been created actually. It is now in production. And then if you go to the execution documents, you can have a look at it. So work order number has been created as what? 1052. And work order is now created. It is in production actually. So let us now go there. Go to this place and then go to the production area. <coughs> so here, what we go there? I will now go to the supply chain execution. <coughs> I will now go to the supply chain execution. Go to the supply chain execution. I will now go to the supply chain execution. And then I will now go to work, work execution. And directly I will go to work execution. 
and then I will not review the supply. So I'm not click on it. I will not review it. So click on it. I will not go to the review dispatch list. I am reviewing it. We are reviewing it. And the, so I will not say it's all. And then this also is what status is all. And then let us not make a search for it. Let's open search. We are not searching for it. You will not find the 1052 work order would have come on it. So 1052 is the one. Laptop model is the one. Is the one. So let us not complete the production. It's got only one operation. Find the one. Expand it. And then let us not complete it. Let us not do the quick complete of it now. So click on quick complete. So by which it is not getting completed. So the quick complete is now done. So based upon which the work order would have got completed actually. It will not say it has been completed and then has not gone to the completed supplementary. So this information will be getting updated on the what's called you are just thing okay. So click on refresh button and you will see that you know, it will be getting updated. So it will be saying what the status is not complete. And click on done and then go on the, come to the main oh, oh, this thing nothing about in this place what happens, you know say goods available will become it is not awaiting for supply. If you click on refresh now, it will not become goods available. And click on apply. Yeah. So it has to become goods available now. So let's wait for some time for the status to get updated now. So in the supply chain orchestration area, it is now saying that the work order is complete. And then if you go to the execution, you keep the cursor on the second line and then see the orchestration plan, the work order complete is coming. Now, only the fulfillment is balanced actually. We have to ship it now actually. So click on done. And then the work order complete message has to come into the main area also as what goods are available. Right now, it has not come as goods available. It was previously awaiting supply. So it is now goods available. Let us now go there and then we will now <coughs> ship the product now. Click on the home icon. I will now go to the inventory management. <clears throat> Supply chain execution and inventory management. I will not there. I go to the inventory management. <clears throat> that I am going to ship the product. Click on it. I will now first of all change the order to 002 now. Go to place. Go to the shipments. And then go to the manage shipment lines. And then change the order to 002. <clears throat> So click on change or we are not changing it to 002. So click on it. Sometimes it doesn't come. So what you have to do is you have to go via uh, inventory and then change the order. Fine. They're not allowing you to change here now. So go via inventory and then change. The org has to be changed. Fine. Go to the inventory and then change it. Because for vision, there is a problem there. You go to the what manage item quantities and then change the order to 002. So click on change or <clears throat> vision has got clubbed so many roles to it now find that so sometimes this gives a problem so from item corner is the main master actually so the org is now getting changed to 002 <clears throat> from the inventory when you can now see the 002 now you go there go to the shipment and then go to the place now it will not have a problem then go to the place drop it on i go to the shipments now find the shipments and then go to the manage shipment lines we are going to the management lines. So here, the order number, I will go and take the order number now, this place. Order number is what? It is 102-408. <clears throat> and then sometimes, don't make it as today. Fine. Make it as before and then leave it blank. So, and then make a search. No search. We'll be able to search. So since goods are available on the 002 R, so it will now go to the next stage. And there, we are going to launch the peak release. We are searching for it now. So make it blank and then make a before it will definitely go to the actions and then go to pick release. We are now pick releasing it now. So pick release will now create a pick way movement request and then it gets allocated and then transacted and then the line status will now go to stage. <coughs> the line status will go to stage. Go there. No running. <coughs> and then it will now create a shipment number also. So you cannot see that. Go there. So go to save and close. <coughs> Uh, now ready to release, it will have gone to stay in that way. Fine. Now the ready to release. So go on and make a search for it. Because now it's taking some time exactly. <clears throat> so click on search. So the pick release and pick confirmation process has to get completed in one go. And then now you can see it is now stay in that no stage. So click on the shipment number and then I will now perform a ship confirmation. So click on it. And I'll go there. And then perform a ship confirmation. <clears throat> go to the place. Now, yes. So go to the place. And then click on ship confirmation by which it is now confirmed. We are confirming it. So the ship confirmation process is now completed. So once when it's done, you can now see the send shipment advice will be running. 
that is responsible for interfacing your shipping execution into order entry. So it's not done. So you can now see the main place is no ship. The SSA will run now. No, after ship. You now see that SSA is going to run now. So SSA is basically responsible for mainly the managed shipment interface is the main concurrent that is going to spawn the SSA. The managed shipment interface is now spawning the SSA. So once when the SSA gets completed, the sales order gets updated, shipped, and then finally it will now go to a waiting point. <laughs> So SSC is running now. <clears throat> and I'm waiting for the SSC to get completed. So once the SSC is completed, we can now see that awaiting shipping will be changed to ship directly. Thank you for refreshing, and then move that. So once when it's shipped, the score will also show as what fulfilled actually. If you go to the score, you can have a look at it. So once when the sales order is now shipped, now the status will now become fulfilled. And then in the orchestration plan also, you can go to the second line and then see the orchestration plan. The fulfillment completion also will be coming as a tick mark. So we're waiting for these things to happen. Okay? So first of all, in the monitor process, SSA has to get completed. Okay? SSA is running. <clears throat> and then whenever you have struck on the SSA, so again, what happens is run the, what's called this one, okay? manage shipment interface, the master concurrent. So if you run the master concurrent with minimal parameters, it will be automatically triggering the SSA and then it will be responsible for interfacing your shipping entry into shipping execution to order entry. <clears throat> So that way, they can do that. But you have to whatever uh, correct the underlying problem. So this SSA may show a problem. That problem has to be corrected and then run again the managing shipment interface. That way you do it. If you are getting stuck. <clears throat> Otherwise, it will be cool now. <clears throat> so now what you do is we'll now go there and have a look at the inventory. Now the cancel. So now look at the stock on the inventory. So you'll now go to the inventory <clears throat> and then here manage item quantities. <coughs> Let us now look at the T01. <laughs> so a star item would have got created. <coughs> the 170 is a star item. Thank you. Okay, now. It is now manufactured and then it, is, it has to be shipped. Like, thank you for searching. No, fine. That, that won't be any stock at all because it is already shipped. Like. So the monitor process, the send shipment advice is responsible for decrementing the inventory. Actually. So that is responsible for decrementing inventory. So it is still running, but it has already decremented the inventory. Actually. Inventory has got decremented. It has got manufactured and then done it on our manager models. And then we can even see all these things from our transactions. So we want to go to the review completed transactions. Review completed transactions for the 170 number. So go to the place. Item is what? Uh, T01 and then give it a tab. You can get transactions for the 170 item. And there is a star item or a uh, what happens, 82 item item. Thank you, transaction. It will show all the what happens, uh, transactions. So, first it was manufactured, not and go there. So, it is not what happens. Uh, the production has got completed. I think. And the work order has got completed. So, it's for one quantity. And then what happens, uh, it has not drawn maybe from the st stage line. Something like that. So, no, what happens, it is not. It has been taken away from the completed sub inventory and then it is not brought to staging, and then staging is also released. Uh, everything is released. And then this is the transaction which has happened. So the staging will be basically relieved only upon SSA getting completed. So SSA might have got completed now. So SSA might have got completed. <clears throat> so it's still showing as running only. The medium volume will now go and then refresh it and refresh it. And then you will now see that it will be shipped and then it will now go to break. It is not shipped actually. No shipped. And then if you go there, if you click on the hyperlink, it will now say that it is now fulfilled also. Yeah. You know, the work order complete, if you refresh it, what happens? The status will become fulfilled. So the status has to become full, not fulfilled now. So once when it is fulfilled, uh, you can now click on it. You'll now find a tick mark, green tick mark also coming in the fulfillment completion. Right. So that is the final stage of SCO actually. So click on refresh. Yeah. Work order complete. And then it has to come as what fulfilled. Maybe after invoicing only, it may be fulfilled. I'm not very sure, but it has forgotten that actually. <laughs> not so it's not shipped and then if you click on refresh now the invoice process will now start so it will now be getting pushed into the staging table area or the interface tables of what invoice is not yet started so click on refresh now find no shipped the tick mark has to come and then afterwards what happens the invoice process has to start you will now see upon awaiting billing the thing is getting fulfilled or not so we wait for the invoice process to start and then once when it is completed, what happens in the new mm -hmm. So let us wait for it. So now the status has gone to awaiting billing. It has not pushed successfully into the interface tables of AR actually. 
you go to the fulfillment lines and then look at the sco area sco area you know see whether it is fulfilled or not but for quarter complete click on refresh you know see whether it is fulfilled or not it is still not changing to fulfilled actually so let us now import the invoice and then see whether it is now getting fulfilled or not it has to come here now and that is what i feel uh, upon uh, uh, pushing it to the interface of tables of ar it is still not coming So, that. So, that so at what stage it will be getting them? I'm not very sure about it. So, so now it is awaiting billing. Let us now bring it to the base tables of AI for the month process. Import order invoice the one. So give a tap now. Import order invoice. <coughs> so import order invoice. Okay, come on again. We are importing it. Come on, okay. So we are now importing it. So the business unit is what US one business unit. So the transaction source is what distributed order orchestration and drop it on. So this is what distributed order orchestration. So okay, and then uh, we can even run it for all no matter what. Whatever is stuff we can run it, or otherwise whatever we can output the sales order number also specifically we can run it. So one zero two four zero eight is the one. So one zero two four zero eight. We are running only for this sales order thing. So we are importing only this data actually. So that will now come into the base tables of AR. So once when the data comes into the base tables of AR, then the sales order line gets closed. So that may be contributing to the fulfillment effort. I'm not very sure. You now see whether once when the import order invoice is getting completed. So this concurrent will now inform the feeder system. That is order management. It's the feeder system. So once when the order invoice is completed, then what happens? It will be informing the feeder system, which is order management, that they have successfully imported the invoice actually. So import order invoice. Will be So it will now create an invoice. Fine. It will now auto create invoice, and then afterwards it will now send a feeder system information also along with it. So the import order invoice is now got succeeded, and then what happens? The notify feeder system is now going to of the receivable transactions is now going to go. So once when that is completed, you can now see the line gets built now. Because first of all, the line will be getting built actually. Click on refresh and then it will be closed. Click on refresh. It will now first go to build. Now it has gone to build actually. So in after build, it will be getting closed. Now. So once it is built, what happens? The line will be closed. So it is not built. Click on refresh now. It is not built. Click on refresh. So now once when it is built, it will now go and then have a look at it and find whether it is now fulfilled or not. Click on refresh. Go to the survey order refresh. Now it is fulfilled actually. So only upon fulfilling, maybe. Uh, it must have taken some extra time, time like that, and then you cannot see all the tick marks coming here. Also, what I mean is now, it is now fulfilled actually. The fulfillment is also completed, and the tick mark also. Made. So it's just it's completed. Now we have to close the header also. The line gets closed. The line gets closed also. <coughs> so go that. So if you go, you see now. So go to the what's called fulfillment lines and click on this one. Yes. And then you can see the line will be getting closed. It's not closed. Will not come to the main area, so it is the responsibility of the CSR to close even the header also. So he has now afterwards it is a payment collection by AR team, and he has now done complete everything on this model now. So he has to close this now. And what he will do is he will now run the concurrent. So he will now schedule this concurrent actually. <clears throat> he will now say update, right? Update close, right? Press it and update close sales order. Update press it, right? Close percentage. Go and make a search. Update to close sales order. Update or close sales order. Okay. So he will now what happens? Go to it. Click on OK. So what he will do? He will now pass on the parameter about sales order number one zero two four zero eight is the one. Okay. So entity is header now. Fine. So it is capital H number. Spend that one. And then we can do it. Okay. So no need to give any ID. Fine. Interval. What happens? I'll now make it as zero. Also. Fine. So it will be immediate actually. So all the headers for for which all the lines are closed, it will be getting closed. So, okay. so update of close sales order is not running. So now you can see in this place the order will be getting closed. The head, the, all the lines after it is closed, once when the tra concurrent runs, it will be closing the header also. So it is the responsibility of what I mean, CSR to close all the lines and all the headers and then report to the management that, that his activity of selling is complete actually. So update of close sales order is not succeeded. It will go there and then refresh it. The header also will be getting closed. Okay. 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 So he has not completed fully on this. Okay. 
the whole process of what the ato models and whatnot and then will not go to the inventory and then have a look at it if i want it no go to the inventory <laughs> So I have not added the inventory top. I mean, no one knew. So I will not go to home icon and then I go to the supply chain execution. Now. Supply chain execution, go to the inventory management. Let me first of all add to the favorites. So I'm going to the favorites. Add to the favorites. So for that, favorites. I'm going to use it very frequently. And I will also use the INV OVU. I'm not changing it back to the favorite. And then here I will now go on the look at the item. I will now go to the browse items. Uh, no, no, no. I am not going to inventory management. So I have to go to what? Product management. <laughs> not the inventory. I have to go to the product management and then query for the item. Query for the item. And then you will now see the 170 is basically an ATO item. 170 is an ATO item which has been manufactured now. So the system created the ATO item. The star item has been created by the system. And go to the browse items and then query the T01. Query the T01. So if you don't want to make a search for it, make a search. Maybe. Searching for it. So we'll not see the 170 the one. Yeah. So we will now go on then query for it in the child org no point. We will now go to the child org and then have another on the child org. So this is the ATO item actually derived from the master. 170 the one. Yeah. So I will now go to the structures here. No structures. So go there. It is not creating any structure at all. Fine. Mainly because what happens if you go to the specifications, fine. This is where I am slightly confused about. So here, what happens? The base model is not taken up from this place actually. It is a standard one. The bill is a standard one actually. Fine. And then it is not having any components at all. Let it be a standard bill, doesn't matter. But it has to have the components. Fine. Building is separate. Everything is okay. You know so the base model is coming over here. Auto created configuration is yes actually. Auto created configuration no yes actually. You know so this is what else? If you give a cancel and then look at the base model. So the laptop model, I'm going to go there. Now. So the laptop model, let me query on the master org because child org is basically common actually. If you go to the laptop model. So in the laptop model, if you go on and query. So the ATO item also, you have to see that as a bill actually. But what to see? I'm still not clear about it. So this may be because of some mistakes on this area. Now. If you go to the specifications, the specifications, in the beginning itself, we struggled actually. So I made the model, I made the blank actually. Auto create configuration is a no because of which it got saved actually. Maybe if you make a yes, I think probably it will now go ahead and then do it. No, find something. If you make it as a yes, no, one else will say auto create configuration, find that part, and then give a save. I will not see whether it is not saving or not. So it is not throwing a lot of errors. This is not very clear upon me. So since the auto configuration is not created, I am unable to see the star item with that, what happens, the bill and its components actually. So somebody, if they know anything fine, on how to set up this portion as far as model is concerned, please educate us. Fine, brother. So one of them has to be enabled, and then this has to be assembled. Fine, brother. Pick components is only for PTO, fine, not for ADO actually. Assembled orders for ADO actually. So this is for a PTO model, this is for ADO model. Fine. But uh, I'm still not learned this area fully. But some or other we succeeded, and then we made a full collection, and then afterwards the sales order was progressing actually. Fine. So this is some of the problems. Fine. I hope that uh, whatever it has now given you a sufficient amount of input on. What happens? Uh, creating your ADO model and then finally, what happens? Uh, uh, interfacing it to manufacturing after the configuration is not complete. So, any good inputs, please write to me at nana.app60 at gmail.com or otherwise, you can even uh, what happens, uh, WhatsApp me on 98418-67924. 98418-67924. You can WhatsApp me about your uh, knowledge. Fine. We'll now have a knowledge sharing so that it will all be beneficial for everybody actually. So bye for now. Thank you.